In this section of our video, we will describe and demonstrate some recommendations to make it easier for you to move and position yourself safely and more comfortably in the early weeks after your surgery. In order to protect the surgical site and promote healing, there will be limitations to the movement and use of your affected arm. Until your plastic surgeon instructs you that it is okay to start resuming your normal activities and movements, here are the limitations to follow. Lifting your arm on your surgical side above shoulder height, reaching behind your body to put on your bra or tuck in your shirt, and avoid twisting motions or arching your back. Initially, you may find a stooped position more comfortable to avoid stretching at the abdominal incision, but it is okay for you to sit and stand upright after day one of your surgery, if tolerable. Avoid lifting any more than five pounds with your affected arm and hold the weight close to your body if lifting anything five pounds or less. You will be cleared post-op day one to use your affected arm for completing self-care tasks such as brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, etc. It may be helpful for you to complete these tasks in a seated position initially to avoid excess energy consumption and to allow you to support your arm at counter height. You are encouraged to use your affected arm as much as tolerated within the above precautions to prevent loss of range of motion. When cleaning after toileting, clean from the front to avoid twisting and reaching behind your back. To get on and off of the toilet appropriately, first ensure adequate toilet height and then use your legs and not your arms to assist. If you are having difficulty standing up without use of your affected arm, scoot to the edge of the toilet to improve your leverage when standing. When putting on your shirt, place your arms in first, starting with your surgical side or the side with most pain if both arms are involved. Pull the shirt above your elbows and then tuck your head in to the neckline of the shirt. Adjust the shirt by pulling down from the sides by reaching across the front of the body to avoid stretching too far to the side or behind you. To put a bra on, fasten it in the front and then spin it around. Again, put your most affected side in the armhole first. Consult your surgeon about when you are allowed to start wearing a bra with or without underwire. Loose fitting clothing may be more comfortable to wear and take less energy to put on. Pay attention to the waistline of your pants, as it will not be comfortable if this is at your abdominal incision. A higher waist or elastic waistband may be more comfortable postoperatively. For bathing, your surgeon will give you guidelines on when you can shower. Use of a long-handled sponge will enable you to wash your back without breaking your precautions with your affected arm. You will likely go home with surgical drains at your incisions and you will be educated by your nursing staff on drain care. If your surgeon instructs you that it is okay to shower while you have drains, you can use the post-surgical drain belt to support the drains while you are in the shower. Or you may use the belt from a bathrobe or an old necktie. Put the belt or tie around your neck and safety pin the drain to the belt. When in the hospital, you'll be able to adjust the bed for your comfort. Initially, a position with your head up and hips and knees bent may be more comfortable. Once home, if lying flat is not comfortable, you can use a pillow under your knees to take pressure off of your abdominal incision or prop your shoulders up on pillows or a wedge pillow for comfort. You should not sleep on your surgical side. When getting out of bed, roll to your unaffected side, drop your legs, and use your strong arm to push up from your side to a seated position. Avoid sitting straight up or down, as this will put too much strain on the surgical sites. If both sides are involved, you will work with the staff at the hospital to determine the best method of getting in and out of bed. You should also elevate your surgical arm when in bed to minimize swelling. The arm should be positioned with your hand above your elbow, elbow above your shoulder, and your whole arm above your heart. When standing up from a seated position, avoid pushing or pulling off the surface with your arm on the surgical side. To make it easier to stand up from a low surface, such as a toilet, try scooting out to the edge of the seat, moving your knees apart and bending a little forward, using your forearms on your thighs while pushing with your legs. You may find it helpful to sit on surfaces that are higher to make the transition easier. 
Avoid sitting on surfaces that you would sink into, such as soft, low couches, as it will be difficult to stand without the use of your affected arm and abdominal muscles. You can use folded blankets to increase the height of seats that you would like to sit on, or risers under legged furniture to add height. When getting into a car, back into the seat instead of stepping in from the side. When getting out, turn so you are facing out with both feet on the ground before standing up. Again, it may be helpful to have a cushion under you if the seat is low. Some seats slope down the middle, so be sure to stand from the edge of the seat instead of the middle. You will be encouraged to get out of bed post up day one. It will be important to start moving as soon as possible to avoid complications from immobility. You are encouraged to walk daily, starting with short distances, five minutes at a time, more frequently throughout the day. You will begin in the hospital. You can gradually increase the distance walked as your endurance allows. You should be out of bed for all meals and for daily self-care tasks as soon as possible.